Hadragal here, and Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin might not be as an easy pickup as you might have thought on PC. If you're playing it on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, it's no problem, you can just pick up the game, pop it in at retail price and it's ready to go. But if you're playing on PC, it's not quite as easy as that. If you already own the game like me, you can upgrade to the new higher detail version with the DLC for $30. Or if you already own the game and the DLC, which I don't, you can do that for $20. And if you do not own either of the games and want to just get the remastered version of Dark Souls 2 with the old graphic settings, that will cost you $40. If you want it to be all upgraded in the DirectX 11 environment, that will cost you $49.99, or $50. So, what does this mean? Basically, if you have lower end hardware, it's a cheaper game pretty much because you're getting all of the DLC and all of the benefits that come from the experience of Dark Souls, the new Dark Souls 2, um, just from the DirectX 9 version which is cheaper so if you don't really care about the visuals I would say go for that one but I'm probably going to go for the new DirectX 11 version since I have the power to use it and it will make some nice footage for you guys too so that's that it's a it's an interesting thing. I like the fact that you can upgrade though. That is really cool. I'm probably going to go for the um, DirectX 11 upgrade pack, which is $30. That's the best option for me. That's the DirectX 11 one as well, in case anyone was wondering. This was Ragdoll for Kingdom. If you're picking up the PC version like me, I'll invade you on April the 1st. See you then.